So what are the challenges that uh, you will be having to face because of this key role that you will need to play as a finance minister helming the IMF talks, the bailout? I took part in the last round of IMF talks yesterday. The proposals they made were acceptable to me in principle. One issue was that the IMF wanted us to have a, the primary budget should have a surplus of 2% by 2025. I felt uh, looking at the present situation that 2023 will be globally will not be a good year for the economic development that we had only 2024. I, I suggested that it should be somewhere from break even to about a surplus of 1%. So look in that range. I think that was the main issue that was there to be discussed. Of course, I told them as far as the economic restructuring is concerned that I wanted growth enhancing reforms and the transformation of this economy to an export oriented economy giving a surplus on the balance of payments. And one day we have to start repaying all the foreign debt we have and if we don't start earning, we certainly will be get, getting into debt further and having another default. So we have to change our ways, we have to change our economic system. Now you've t uh, talked about a budget also coming up. Yes. Would that be also sort of oriented towards this IMF program needing to bring in uh, tax hikes to bridge this deficit and move towards more of a surplus? There will be tax hikes, we will bring it back. But the main idea of the budget is to cut expenditure to the bone except in case of health services and education and transfer that money to ensure that we can give more welfare assistance to a large number of people who have been affected by this economic crisis. It's difficult for people. I, I understand. I, I can feel the anger. Some of them are missing one meal. I can understand that. So we have to somehow get out of this rut quickly. We know what the sovereign bonds that are due, but uh, the Chinese funds, how will that repayment and uh, restructure work? How is China, uh, you know, warming to this? No, we thought we'll talk with China once we finish the IMF discussions. We will have to ask them about the debt restructuring, but once we wait, wait, wait for this to come in and then see them. And what sort of repayments do we have to China? Are we in a sort of a debt trap to China? We are not in a debt trap. Actually, the percentage of loans by Japan and China are the same, except that the Chinese interest rates are high.